So we're in team statistics. Um, if you come into team statistics and it says recently here, this is the area that shows the drills that you've been uh, using in training for the groups that are checked here. Just click here and change it to folders. I feel it's a little bit easier to understand it that way in the beginning. And then make sure that you have at least one group here. You can also have more than one if you want to compare in different charts, like I'm comparing one group to three players here. But let's start with one group checked, folders here, and just make sure all of your athletes are unchecked now in the beginning. Go to the bottom bar, press the button that says execute query. Right away, this is going to give you a overview of how you've been spending your time in practice. You will notice that uh, these folders, these are the folders that are from your drill collection. Uh, those are the slices that you're getting here in the pie chart. And this is why we recommend to people that you categorize your drills according to your coaching philosophy, because then you can now reflect on how much time you're spending on the different aspects. If you double click on a slice, you dig down into that slice. So now we're looking at attacking and how that uh, divides up into technical and tactical. And we can go further and you can go down to the individual drills, but we'll, we'll stop here. So you can see exactly how much time you're spending on its aspect. You can single click outside the pie to go up one level, or you can double click to go up to the top. Okay, so it's very easy to go in and out. Also, if you just want to focus on, uh, let's say, three main folders here, you would just select them here with uh, by holding down Control, Command, or Shift, and again, pressing Execute Query, and then you're just looking at those. I'm just going to click in the white area to deselect them execute query again. Down on the bottom bar you have the, uh, you can set the period you're querying from. Automatically it's going to be pretty much your last uh, season. And then you have some settings here. You can export the chart. You can uh, decide what uh, values and labels you're showing. You can put it up in a separate window to show it full screen, for example, if you're comparing different groups and teams and seasons and so on. You can also uh, change from a pie chart to a line chart which can be interesting if you want to uh, see how things develop with time over the season. Some details here that are nice to know. Let's say you see something in the line chart. Let's say you feel this is too high and you're wondering why. Well, you can right click on this data point and uh, select open results. That will show you which practices these values are coming from. You can then double click on them to open them and fix if you think there's an error. And this pretty much applies to all of these graphs. Also down here, if you just quickly want to get rid of play, you could right click on that and select hide. And you also have some different settings for the line. Here we're looking at average per month. We could do average per week. Some different uh, settings here for the period. So that's training overview, super simple to use. And if you made your settings, uh, you just go in here, click execute query and right away you're, you're in the data. Now let's look at uh, attendance. Here you want to have all of your players checked. And this will give you attendance statistics for all of the different types of session, games, practices, workouts, and you can see many different kinds of charts here. And in each chart, you can always left click on a bar or pie chart or anything like that and see exactly more details about the attendance for each session in that graph. So if you want to see comments and, and so on. Down here on the bottom bar, uh, let's just run through this a little bit. Um, this is where you have the different presets. So you can just go between, see different representations of uh, the attendance statistics. And remember always when you see here, I want to see something more about Bobby here. Just left click on the chart then. And then you see details about uh, the sessions. Here's an export button. You can export either the charts or copy the table to the clipboard. So you can paste it into Excel like this if you want to do something else with the data. You can put this up to a separate window if you want to have it full screen. Buttons here to maximize the graph versus maximizing the table. You can create your own presets by showing the chart settings. And then you can just put together whatever you want here to, uh, to create your own charts. And then when you have done that, then you're happy with it click on the presets button and save the current settings as a new preset, because then you will have it here in the list as a shortcut. This settings, for example, in the table, there are columns you not really, you don't really care about, just uncheck them here. There's another view of the attendance statistics. You can click here, this is statistics. You can also go to cells, and then you can see a different representation 
of uh, the attendance of the players and remember you can always click to see more more details and the last thing here is uh, if you focus in on a player then you will see uh, how their attendance divides up between groups this uh, player is only in one team or group but you also have different options of uh, presets uh, so you can build individual presets when you're focusing in on a player so that's the attendance statistics. We also have match statistics. There's a separate tutorial for that. We don't have it for all sports yet, but we're working on that. There's also a separate tutorial for the advanced statistics. Thank you for listening.